what is emotional liberation? I think I've known this intellectually for a while that I'm responsible for my own feelings and other people are responsible for those for their feelings. So that's the basic, uh, basic definition for me. Um, and at the beginning of this, you asked, are you ready? And that's interesting because we've had this, this uh, topic um, in mind to do for a while, but I really wasn't ready for it. Uh, and just because just recently, I've been able to really understand what that means that I'm responsible for my, my own feelings. And it, the NBC book, nonviolent communication book talks about that um, in depth, but I still wasn't able to sort of go beyond intellectually understanding that I'm responsible for my own feelings. I've recently been um, looking at uh, these videos by these people I call the woo-woo people. They're, it's this Wu Wei wisdom videos, this Taoist monk and his wife, uh, David Lees and his wife, Alexandria. And they really talk about you creating your own emotions. And that was sort of a change point for me understanding that I create my own emotions. So yeah, going beyond that you're responsible for and in charge of your own emotions, but you're, you're actually creating them. I think um, sort of embody or sort of encapsulates the, the definition of, uh, of emotional liberation for me. Mm -hmm. I love those Wu Wei people, by the way, I feel like they're like our heterosexual uh, British doppelgangers. doppelgangers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's about taking responsibility uh, for your feelings and understanding that everyone um, is responsible for their own feelings, both responsible for our feelings and our needs and expressing them. And to me, that gives me a whole lot of power because if I know that and I know how to manage my feelings, then I can be happy no matter what's happening. Yeah, that actually reminds me of, of times when I've expected people to, being responsible for your own needs, mm -hmm. people to, maybe I said it once or I hinted at it and then didn't even direct, hadn't directly said, but was irritated because, well, don't they know I want that? You know, <laughs> like sort of blaming them for not being a mind reader, mm -hmm. right? Which is just totally unfair. Other part of emotional liberation, I think, is being free to be compassionate and loving with everyone including ourselves, right? For me, the being very compassionate and loving with other people came naturally. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, ever since I was a little kid, that seemed easy to love others and be compassionate towards them. Even if they acted horribly, I just like got them. Like, oh, I understand their dysfunction and their pain, you know? But for myself, that didn't happen until much later in life where I started giving myself the same level of love and compassion that I gave others. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you actually uh, mentioned that part of it when I would be compassionate, sort of get others and try to try, think I was being compassionate. I would be being codependent because I would actually, mm -hmm. even though I was like, oh, yeah, I understand where they're coming from. Yeah, I have compassion for them it would delve into like not un understanding where I began and they ended mm -hmm. and almost feeling their feelings or thinking it was my job to, you know, um, fix it or, you know, yeah. So there's like this sort of fine line of understanding mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Well, and that's the line I think is like, um, you can have compassion for someone, um, but you don't want to take on responsibility for their problems. 